Hey guys, <laughs> let's do some makeup. Um, my husband is mowing right outside the door and every time I think he's gone somewhere in another section of the yard, he swings back around over here. So I'm just gonna talk over him because I've been waiting. I don't go live much. I wanted to do, do it today. And so it's just never a good time. I don't know how it is at your house, but no matter what I ever try to do, it's just never seems to be a good time. So I'm just gonna put on some makeup because we gotta do some errands in a little bit because we're gonna put in a stock tank pool. I'm super excited about that. So um, I'm just gonna do a little bit of makeup before we go do our errands. And again, sorry, he's right here buzzing around. He's been out everywhere else, but now he is right in front of the door as soon as I hit the live button. But I'm committed now, so we're going into it. All right, so I've already got all my mascara. I'm actually using the, I didn't bring it in here with me, but the Hourglass is called Unlocked Extensions. I love that mascara. It's a tubing mascara and has worked really well. Also, one of the tricks that I have I been loving doing is putting Aquaphor under my eyes. I just saw yesterday morning, I had been having like some breakouts and stuff right here. And so um, Aquaphor has been really good for that. And this little stick, this actually a lipstick, a lip balm, but I will put this, and this has been really good to keep my under eyes hydrated too. And my makeup goes on really well. And so a lot of people, they'll be dry under their eyes. I love it. And apparently it's a viral trick. So I was super happy that this is something that I've been doing. So, and it does work. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna kind of press that in just a little bit. Hydration under your eyes, I'm telling you right now, it will take away that crepiness. Your, there's my husband again. Your concealer will do good. Um, it's just, it, I feel like it has elevated up my under eye area. So it's Aquaphor Lip Repair is what I've been using. And then um, another thing that I'm just gonna put on my lips now is this Lip Plumper. I've been using this one too. This feels like you are putting straight boiling cayenne, pepper, and acid together, but um, it does work. It does plump, plump your lips up some. It, no pain, no gain sometimes. And so I'm gonna go ahead and put this on. Look at my lips now. It even puts this pretty, it brings the blood flowing and it'll give a gorgeous, like a rosy little tint to your cheeks, I mean to your lips or your cheeks if I guess you put it on there. But learn from my mistakes. Do not lick your lips or your tongue will be a fire too. All right, we're gonna do our Saint makeup today. Yeah, that we got all those formalities out of the way. Um, my Saint all-in-one compact. I love this design, it's so fun. It's this blue, it kind of reminds me of something that your grandma would have sitting on her dining room table. This nostalgic pattern, I love it. I've also got a gold one that um, I've not cracked out yet because this was a fun one and I thought I'm gonna use this one until I'm tired of it, but I've not gotten tired of it yet. I love it. Um, and I'm gonna use, I think today, the 3D brush. Here is all of my foundation and contours. Here's my lip and cheeks and bronzers. Now you don't need that much. I would customize um, a palette for you, tell you what you need and a color match you to that. And we can keep it as simple as you want or if you want extras of things like I have, we can do that too. It's really affordable, but of course you can spend as much as you want to on it, just like you would anything. Um, there's the hubby again mowing. At least the yard's getting mowed. It's not been fitting weather to have it mowed this whole time. And so today's the first day he's able to do it. Um, so we're gonna start with doing a little bit of, a little bit of maybe some color correcting. I'm gonna use this color right here, Mango. And I'm gonna put this under my eye, right where there's a little bit of darkness. And then I'm also gonna do it right here in the middle where I have my pores. This will help my pores to um, be minimized anywhere you have redness or blue mango works really well again we have some like um true demi color correctors that work but this mango it looks like a crazy orange color but it it does it works under your makeup really well all right so we've got that done now we're going to go in i'm going to do my um contour I'm gonna use the color here. This is the color Olive. I've been loving it lately. If you have a little bit of redness in your cheeks, this may go a little muddy on you. Um, but I feel like it's a great universal 
shade from it for a lot. And where I have the discolorations or melasma and stuff like that, Olive works really well with that. I'm not going to worry about blending until the very end. But we're going to do this stock tank pool. I've been seeing these designs and they're just little like two foot deep, eight foot, you know, round. Little pools. I mean, you put a pump in them and everything and you build a little deck, a little platform deck around it. And we're going to do that river rock around it. It looks amazing because you can just kind of float around in it, sit in it, um, cool off for the summers. We're going to do a... Um, Oh, my husband's just sitting there now. He's just sitting right here. <laughs> Hope you can hear me, because I'm not, I'm not going to stop. He'll probably actually try to come in this door in just a minute. He usually does that, too, when I'm going live. I'm going to do a little bit right here, too. But um, my friend has one that I fell in love with. When I saw hers, I was like, oh, my gosh, that looks amazing. And... Um, so we're gonna build a we're build rebuilding our deck and stuff. We're gonna just kind of make a backyard. We don't have a big backyard; it's this big. But we're gonna make us a nice little living area, and then in one corner of it, do a deck, a half a deck around a little stock tank pool where you can kind of float in it, sit in it, hang your legs over in it. It'll be good for the grandkids that are real young, but it'll be good for like my age, where I just want to lay around and lounge around. Man, the this lamp look this is my spirit animal right here <laughs> she is exactly what i need if i'm laying in the bed she is laying in the bed <laughs> um so i'm really excited so they're supposed to be coming i think maybe next week so we got to go buy our stock tank today hey hey how are y'all how are y'all well thank you thank you thank you um now i'm going to go in with my uh, main shade i'm going to use the color sandy that's right here and I will tell you what shades that you need you can always match yourself you could click the link in my profile and then go to starter collections that tab and find your own shade and match yourself but you don't have to do that I can give you your customized colors where am I located I'm located in Alabama can't you tell from the accent all right so we're gonna start with the color sandy and I'm just gonna kind of pop that around everywhere that I do not have my contour. Now sometimes I use the indigo contour as well. <laughs> There's the ups again. This is the best lighting though is right here in my front in my living room. And so um, I like to do I like to sit right here in front of my door and put on my makeup because I can really see a whole lot better than I can anywhere else. Even though I have an expensive lighted mirror in my makeup room, this is where I prefer. And like you can really tell when the sun comes out because the lighting gets better. It's a little late in the day. I'm starting a little late in the day. Alright, so that's my main shade and I'm going to go in with the brightening shade now. I'm gonna use the end of this brush. This is a 3D brush deal. And I'm gonna pop that right here. And I'm telling you, when I put that Aquaphor under my eyes, it just hydrates them. And then my concealer go, this concealer shade goes on so well. And it doesn't crease. So this is sunlit. It's this crazy kind of yellow. I'm going to also carve out just a little bit under my contour. Drag that. And like the lip plumper, I mean, it's still burning, but it gives the prettiest, like a, this light rosy color to your lips. And then it does plump them up some. And I'm going to put just a little bit of this also on my eyelids. See, I have these pink veiny lids. chewing gum. I didn't think about it when I went live. Sorry. I know that sometimes that's annoying to see people chomping on gum, so I'll try not to do it. 
and then I'm going to blend it all out together. If you ever feel like your main shade's a little too dark, you can always go in with your lighter color like this right here and go right along the edge and kind of blend that a little bit more into your um, neck so that it matches better. We have loved being home an extra day. today. I gotta work in a few minutes though, but we got errands to do, go get our stock tank and stuff and have that here and ready. Kind of figure out the positioning where we want to put things. And then um, I gotta work a little bit. And then it'll be time to go to work tomorrow. <laughs> it'll be bedtime before you know it. I'm gonna go in and put just a little bit of sunlight right here down my nose as well. I love this makeup because it is super glowy and gorgeous and it looks it is hydrating on your um, when you have this mature skin or if it's getting a little dry and it's also great for oily skin I'm an oily skin person before I started today I actually went in and sprayed a little bit of my setting spray because now that we're getting into this humid time of summertime the south is very humid So I like to do just a little bit of setting spray before I start. Oh, here comes the husband up here. Oh, I thought he's fixing a park. Him and my son's both trying to get a little bit of mowing done today because we had we had bad weather over the weekend, so we couldn't get a whole lot done. All right. So that's my foundation. Those three shades are my foundation. Before I start with my bronzer or my lip and cheek, I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna use my damp perfector sponge. I put it under running water, squeezed it out, and I'm just gonna go through and pat everything in to make sure it's all blended really well. I haven't got my eyes great yet, but I don't care. I just I just went ahead and put a little bit on there while I had my brush out. We'll do that in a little bit. I can use my finger right now and get that. I didn't know if I was going to put on any makeup today, but I've just not went live and actually done makeup in a hot minute. So I needed to come on. I need to be sharing this more than just a really quick videos because you guys need to see how easy it is to apply and how pretty the finish is. All right. So now I'm gonna go in with the bronzer. So I'm still got my compact right here in the same brush, and I'm just going to go to my second layer where I keep my bronzer and lip and cheeks. And then I'm going to go back to this side of the brush, this little cotton tail side, and then we're gonna bronze. So this almost goes right above where we contoured with that same type area. Bronzer's gonna add a little bit of warmth and then your, I'm sorry, bron uh, yeah, bronzer's gonna add a little bit of warmth and your contours is gonna add some shadows. Sometimes you can use a little bit of a warmer contour and just, you know, kill two birds with one stone. But the bronzer, I feel like, is a necessity. It really does add a little bit of life back into your face makes you look like you've been a little bit sun-kissed and I just love having that little bit of sun look on my face. Okay. Now, if you're like me and your face and your neck are two different colors, my chest, my face, and my neck are all three different shades, um, you can go in with your, especially if you're wearing like a V-neck um, shirt, blouse, or whatever, but you can go in and drag just a little bit. I'm just, I am 
almost tickling my neck here, not not touching it a lot. And now I'm going to go in and I'll blend it. It'll bring your look together. Okay, and so now we'll go in with a um, lip and cheek color. This can be used on the lips or the cheeks. I have six here to choose from because I like to have a variety. I like to have some of the reds, the pinks, the peaches, the nudes. Um, I have one that's called sandstone because it's kind of this, you know, the red color. I love that. So, but we're going to go in with the color nude today. I love nude. It's this one right here. And it's more of a rosy nude. But it's really good for people that have discoloration on their cheeks or melasma. The colors that work best for those is going to be like nude, pink grapefruit, Frenchie, Madrid. Those type of satin shades from um, Saint work really well to help cover up redness and discolorations on the cheeks. Let's see, my, my cheeks are getting, you know, my, my lips are getting a little bit deeper now with the lip plumper that I put on earlier. And again, that was by Polite Society. It's called Big Mouth Lip Plumping Oil Gloss. And what I love about this is it's a hydrating oil that will stay on your lips for a long time. So your lips, even though they're plumped and stuff, sometimes you'll do a plumper and when it's done, you know, your lips dry really quick. This stays on a long time and it's an oil so it feels really hydrated and it feels really good on your lips. Um, and I love it. Alright, so that's my, that's my cheeks. Um, I'm going to go over that, blend it with my sponge. And then we're going to do a little bit of um, powder and an illuminator. And then we're good to go. But look, I mean, I love that finish. It's so pretty. Let me see if I can blend, uh, zoom in a little bit. I mean, is my skin perfect? No, it's far from it. But this is a lot better version of it. And I feel more comfortable um, wearing my makeup like this with a little bit more of this natural look and a glow. Now you can also, it's buildable, so if you want a fuller coverage, which I did a medium coverage, you can do a fuller coverage or you can do a light coverage depending on how you apply, which brush you use, how much product, all that is, you know, is up to you. Alright, so let's powder a little bit. I'm going to use the, um, the one size by Patrick Star. It's the ultimate setting powder and this is the color Ultra Pink. Don't be scared. And I'm going to use a little puff here for that. So there we go. I'm actually going to take that and rake that off and then press right in there. Leave it. Press. And then I'm going to go right down the areas that I feel like need just to be set, especially in my T-zone. And now I'll go back in and repress this out. And then if I want to go here, I can. These little puffs are, um, I got it from Amazon. You can get like several of them, like five or six for five bucks or so. They're really good. Um, and then I'm going to go with my sponge one more time because this is damp and I like to press this in. Sometimes I'll use this to set with my, my powder with this. I would just dip it right into that pink. And we'll use an illuminator now. So this little gold color, can you tell I like it? This is the color Nova. I love this. It's just a little bit of a sheen. We're gonna put that right there on the tip of the nose. This is really good for mature skin too, where I see I have these lines and wrinkles. The creams are not going to set and make. If you use a powder there, like with my eyes, and I did this right here, I would have lines when I wasn't smiling that would just look like little crinkle french fries. The creams don't do that. They don't set in it. So that's why I love the creams for mature skin, but the cream illuminator for me. We do have powder illuminators that are gorgeous too, but I use most of them as eyeshadows instead of, um, you know, the highlighter for the cheeks. Alright, I like to go over with this. Then we'll do a little bit of setting. And we're done. 
Um, really quick though, I am going to go right over my eyes because I'm going to go on my stories in just a minute and do my eyes. So I'm going to use this brush. This is one of our, the shake brush. It's a fluffy end. And I'm just going to set this right here with a powder or vanilla dust. That's how I prime my eyelids when I get ready to put on my eye makeup. And if I don't wear eye makeup, I will still do this sometimes because my eyelids are kind of purpley and veiny. And this just gives it a nice, pretty, even base. And then if you needed a powder here too, you could do any of that as well. Um, and then also, just for the south and the humidity, I like to do an, a setting spray as well. Um, I have been on this one size kick. This is also from Patrick Star. It's the On Till Dawn setting spray. It's like a hairspray. It's an aerosol bottle. I love this. Um, and I will use this uh, when I get through. So I will set with this powder or any powder and then I will go back with this right here and spray. And then I'm gonna be good for the rest of the day. So there you go. If you want to color match, it is colormatchbysuzy.com. I would be happy to help you. Or if you have any questions or troubleshooting, I'm happy to help with that too. So if you do a color match with me and you become a, um, a customer of mine, then you will have me as an artist. And so we can you know, always work together anytime if um, you're like, I, I'm having trouble here. Or, hey, what about these new shades? Or how does this look? Or can you, you know, I'll, I'll do one-on-one -on -one all the time. So I would love to be your artist and I would love to give you a color match. So colormatchbysuzy.com. I will also put that in the caption in case you want to do a color match. And I hope everyone has an amazing Memorial Day. And wow, am I thankful to be an American. And am I thankful for the people that have fought for this right that I have to even sit right here and be on this um, interweb talking to you guys. It's amazing. Our military is amazing. Our country is amazing. Oh, look, my shirt says America. I'm pro-America all the way. And if you're not, got issues. Anyway, thanks for watching.